Welcome, welcome to Volatility 411 for Equity Armor Investments. I'm Joe Teague. Let's jump right into it. The VIX expired for the month of September today, expiring at 2665. Coming in a little bit more as the day has gone on. We're at 2635 right now as I'm recording this video as the S&P 500 is rallying up to that 3900 level, a critical level that has been an area of support before. Will it become resistance now or will it just be a pivot point ahead of the Fed number? Now, justifiably, all eyes are on the Fed today, uh, but... Uh, what the Fed does is going to have ripple effects around the world and around the world, they might be having more economic troubles in the U.S. right now. Starting in, in Asia, you look at China right now, we know that about their, their housing crisis so far this year. Uh, they also are having an economic crisis with all the COVID lockdowns. Their growth is a little bit slower this year. But they're now having a currency crisis. We know they pegged their currency to the U.S. The dollar, which is great. It keeps their trade in balance with the U.S. normal. However, when the dollar appreciates as much as it has this year, it puts China as a disadvantage to other countries in the region and even around the world. Right now, it's, it's cheaper to buy goods from Japan than it is China or Taiwan. Uh, so will J China look and say, hey, I'm going to devalue my currency to get more competitive with Japan? The previous times they've done that, it has not been so good uh, for the neighboring neighboring countries. Uh, going around, you're looking at uh, Europe. We know the problems there. They're having steep inflation. They're raising their interest rates really quickly. Uh, we saw a downgrade in European GDP today, a really big one. So um, we'll have to watch that as it plays out. What's the, going to be the ripple effect? And we know volatility comes in waves. Uh, we're going to have to see. And that's why I'm going to have to say uh, following this Fed number is going to be important to just kind of wait and see Look at the reaction uh, that's going to happen overnight, uh, what's going to happen in all the currencies. And then I'm thinking uh, on Thursday is going to be uh, the more important trading day. I'm going to be going to trust that move a little bit more. So I'm going to want to be reactive today after the number, uh, maybe look for some opportunities. Uh, but tomorrow, uh, I think that's going to be the trend. We're going to have to stick to that trend for the time being. In the meanwhile, I'm talking about the VIX. It's at 26 and a half. Again, the middle of the range. It's not really telling me, uh, hey, this is a buying opportunity or a selling opportunity. So VIX in the middle of the range, S&P at thir uh, uh, 3,900. Uh, traders are expecting a move. For Equity Armor Investments, I'm Joe Teague.